Good morning students, I am Poonam Gidwani, your previous teacher. We have completed our first chapter that is relations and relatives and today we will start our second chapter that is friendship. It's a very interesting chapter student. In this chapter we will read three stories of friendship. First is Shri Krishna and Sudama, second is Gopal and Kaveri and third is Maharana Pratap and Chetak. Students, friendship is a unique type of relation. Friends are not our relatives, but they are not less than our relatives. रिश्तेदार तो नहीं होते, लेकिन रिश्तेदारों से कम भी नहीं होते। आपके भी बहुत सारे friends होंगे in your city, in your neighborhood, in your school, and some friends out of your city, यानी कि बाहर के किसी city में भी आपके friends होते हैं। So let's start this chapter with the beautiful story of friendship, Shri Krishna and Sudama. In ancient times, there were no schools like present times. In ancient time means many years ago. We are talking about old days when there were no schools. Like present time, all of you are going to schools, but at the time there were no schools for education. So the question is, if there were no schools, how did the children use to get their studies? And the answer is, there were ashrams at the times children used to study in ashrams or gurukul and students were not allowed to go home until the completion of education means all students had to live away from their homes in ashram for education and children used to study play eat sleep read every activity was there only in the ashram or gurukuls here is the picture of ashram for you where there are shishya and there are guru and shri krishna and sudama also studied in guru sandeepni's ashram with other students shri krishna students have you heard the name of shri krishna Yes, I am talking about Lord Krishna, Bhagwan Shri Krishna. In India, there are so many temples of Shri Krishna where Lord Krishna is worshipped as Kanha, Kanhaiya, Gopala, Govinda and so many names. Aapne bhi suna hoga. And one more thing students, in whole India, in our whole country, Janmashtami is celebrated as बर्थडे ऑफ श्री कृष्णा आपके स्कूल में भी मनाई जाती होगी बहुत सारे स्कूल्स हैं जहां पर जन्माष्टमी पर मींस द बर्थडे ऑफ श्री कृष्णा इज सेलिब्रेटेड एंड देयर आर सो मेनी कंपटीशन फैंसी ड्रेस कंपटीशन रोल प्ले एंड सो मेनी थिंग्स ऑन द जन्माष्टमी सो हियर वी आर स्टार्टिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा एंड हिज फ्रेंड सुदामा बोथ वर फ्रेंड्स देयर एंड बोथ यूज्ड टू स्टडी इन गुरु Sandeepni Ashram. Students, the name of the Guru of Lord Krishna is Sandeepni. Students, note down this name. This is very important name. Kaun the Krishna or Sudama ke Guru? Guru Sandeepni. And with other students, both used to get their education. Both were very good friends. Eating, wandering, reading and other ashram activities were performed by them together. Means there were a very good friendship and they used to play together, eat together and wandering. What is the meaning of wandering here? Means idhar idhar ghoomna. Hum apne friends ke saath ghoomte hai na. In the same way Lord Shri Krishna and Sudama used to wander, play, eat, read. Means every activity they used to do together in ashram after the completion of education both returned to their homes means when their education was completed they got separated krishna went to his home and sudama went to his home shri krishna was the prince of mathura shri krishna rajkumar the kaha ke mathura ke mathura is a city in up uttar pradesh after migrating to Dwarika, he became famous as Dwarika Dhesh and later on Shri Krishna moved to Dwarika and unko kis naam se jana jane laga? Dwarika Dhesh, Dwarika ke Raja. Sudama was living in his village as a common man. Now the difference is 
Shri Krishna was a king, but Sudama was a poor man and his economic condition was not good. It means Sudama was very poor and Sudama did not have enough money for food, clothing and for his family. It was becoming very difficult for Sudama to earn his living. To earn his living means to earn money for food, clothing and all necessary things that we need to live. One day Sudama's wife said, Shri Krishna is your childhood friend. Why don't you ask him to help you? Sudama's wife asked, Shri Krishna is your childhood friend. You were very good friends and you must ask your friend to help you and I am sure he will surely help you. So you should ask him to help you. Sudama ki wife ne kaha ki aapko Shri Krishna se madad maangne chahiye kyunki wo aapka bohat achha friend hai. Sudama was reluctant to accept her advice for many days. Student here, the reluctant means Sudama was unwilling. Sudama was very hesitant. Sudama does not want to ask any favor from Krishna. Sudama does not want to take anyone's help. So, Sudama did not accept her advice for so many days. And but on his wife's request, Sudama accepted her advice. But when her wife requested her again, Sudama thought for a while and Sudama accept the advice means opinion, suggestion of her wife. Sudama ne apni wife ki request ko maan liya, uski jo suggestion thi usse maan liya. After a long journey, Sudama reached Dwarika after a long journey means Sudama's village were far away from Shri Krishna's palace. So Sudama completed a long journey and Sudama reached Dwarika. Sudama kaha pahunch gaya? Dwarika and Dwarika Krishna ka mahal hai. Is liye Shri Krishna ko Dwarika dhish bhi kehte hai. Jis ki abhi abhi humne baat ki thi. Sudama was surprised seeing the glory of Dwarika. Now Sudama was very surprised, heran ho gaya. Kyu heran ho gaya? Why? Because Dwarika was very glorious, beautiful. So Shri Krishna was the king there and Sudama got surprised. What a beauty, what a glorious palace it is. On reaching Shri Krishna's palace, Sudama requested the gatekeeper. So, jaise hi Sudama Shri Krishna ke mahal mein pahuncha, Sudama requested the gatekeeper because Shri Krishna was the king. So, there were gatekeeper outside the palace, there were many guards outside the palace and Sudama could not enter without the permission of gatekeepers. So, Sudama requested gatekeepers, I am Sudama, my name is Sudama and I am Shri Krishna's childhood friend. So, please let me go inside. I have come here to meet him. Let me go inside. I want to meet Shri Krishna. I am his friend. Please let me go inside and please inform Shri Krishna that I am here. It surprised the gatekeeper. Now the gatekeeper is also surprised because Sudama was a very poor man and Sudama is saying that I am friend of your king. That's why the gatekeeper was surprised. On Sudama's request, he went inside and informed Shri Krishna. But gatekeeper ne Sudama ki request ko maan liya and he went inside and informed Shri Krishna that there is a person who is saying that my name is Sudama and I am Shri Krishna's friend and that person wants to meet you. When Shri Krishna heard the name of Sudama, he ran to the gates and hugged Sudama. As soon as Shri Krishna heard that my friend is here, Sudama is here, Shri Krishna was very happy and Shri Krishna ran to the gates. Dorte hue Shri Krishna pahanch gaye Sudama ki taraf and hugged Sudama or Sudama ko gale laga liya. Hugged means when we 
hold someone tightly in our arms here is the picture of their meeting you can see in the picture how shri krishna is running towards sudama and here shri krishna and sudama are hugging each other awesome meeting of both overwhelmed all sare ke sare us meeting ko dekh kar surprised ho gaye everybody was overwhelmed shri krishna took him to the throne with honor so student throne means a special chair for the king raj se hasan jisko hum bolte hain because shri krishna was a king so uske paas kya tha raj se hasan and shri krishna ne unhe bahut respect ke sath honor ke sath apni chair pe bithaya apne singhasan pe bithaya apni kursi pe bithaya after watching sudama's condition shri krishna realized sudama's state of mind and helped him so students when shri krishna noticed the condition of sudama sudama did not ask anything but shri krishna was a true friend so shri krishna realized sudama's state of mind and shri krishna helped his friend sudama so it was the beautiful story of shri krishna and sudama so we have learned that there is no influence of poverty and richness in friendship doesn't matter your friend is poor or rich we should always help our friend so students in next part we will read the story of gopal and kaveri till then goodbye